the movie I just watched at the, mo the movie theater, The Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. It was a great, great movie. Had a couple of things that we uh, really kind of, um, I just recognize in there, just like 300, the movie, um, you know, The Prince of Persia, uh, with Jay Gilead, it had um, a element of uh, the Persians were mostly British <laughs> or uh, American. Uh, it's funny in 300 that we had, um, I don't know, I want to get off on this right here, but when the Persia, when everybody was taking over, it was mostly blacks and um, Middle Eastern people. And this one right here, now Persia, they're the good guys. It seems like they're helping everybody or they're they're overthrown, but they still look like they're heroes, and they're um, Caucasian or of a different persuasion. But let me tell you about how the movie went itself. The movie uh, had a, a a good plot. It had a, a good storyline. It had a lot of special effects. It was pretty good. Had some things going on with it that uh, you know it keeps you interested. Keeps you off the seats. The snakes and everybody else. The the people that they had in the uh, you know for. Uh, for the mystic, the, the sandstorms, uh, the woman, uh, how the, you know when they see this woman, she's uh, marked as beauty, and um, it had a uh, definite tone of a uh, adventure slash romance uh, a slash a little comedy, and it had Mr. Doctor Octopus, uh, the man from Spider Man, in there. Had yeah, a few, a uh, few of your characters that you would love to see. Uh, just that the storyline went in, it, and, it, and it, it, to me, it did a real good job on how the story, uh, basically, uh, you know, took place. They, I know a lot of people are basing this off of the game. A lot of gamers out there, a lot of people online are there. They're upset about how the uh, the people were uh, uh, actually portrayed. Uh, in their characters, uh, you know Jerry, uh, uh, Jerry Buck. That's what I call him. He keeps doing great movies, man. He's uh, he's putting things together. Uh, but this this movie right here had a lot of um, it had a lot of bite. So I would recommend this uh, for you to go see this movie. It has some things and some elements to it that uh, basically that I would sit uh, had me up uh, on the edge of my seat for the whole entire movie. So. With a movie of this days and caliber, the movie that actually counts. It does count, and we need that in the theater when you're going to spend your uh, uh, spending your big bucks and you got a family you're bringing out to go see it. So it's some it's a movie that the adults can enjoy, and at the same time that the kids would enjoy also. So you know it's a, you know you can take the whole family, and uh, it's a good enough movie that you can take kids uh, without uh, people uh, saying, "Hey, shut that kid up." <laughs> But the, um, like I said, the storyline, um, it went, I mean, it went great. It went to the point they came with the save the hero situation coming into the thing. And it, uh, without giving the whole story away right there, it has some, um, it was very special at the end, uh, how they bring everything back to the beginning. It had some, um, tips and some, some tips you can teach your, uh, uh, basically some teaching moments and, uh, with honor and, um, and it had lessons of life in there. Oh, they tried to teach us and entertain us at the same time. That was real good. But, you know, with Jay Stuck, when he sees how he reviews this, and you know, yes, I am in character. Uh, a little bit, I'm in character. So check me out. Um, you know, uh, don't laugh at me. <laughs> but laugh. <laughs> I have to give that movie at this time. And I'm basically. Mm, I'll give it one, two, three, uh, four, four juggernauts. Go check that movie out. Peace. <laughs>